Modern Warfare 3 is a perfect disaster and will teach all the wrong lessons for Activision in the future of Call of Duty. So why do I say that? Well, let's hop into exactly what I mean. So I want to start by mentioning that Sledgehammer Games, after Vanguard, actually pitched that they wanted to do a sequel or some sort of spin-off of Advanced Warfare. And Activision shot them down and said, no, you're going to do this instead. And what was this thing that they were told to do? Well, it was Modern Warfare 3 as we know it today. But in an article from Bloomberg written by Jason Schreier, exposes that Modern Warfare 3 was actually originally pitched as an expansion to last year's title to Sledgehammer Games from Activision, but during development sometime, it eventually morphed into a full-on sequel. Keep in mind that the, this original DLC, though, was going to be sold full price at $70 either way. Now, Activision denied these claims originally that it was an expansion and it was always going to be a premium game from the start, but more than a dozen current and former developers of the game actually came out and said that that conflicts with what they were told at the time. Some of the employees said that the plan was left ambiguous, while others said they were directly told that it was just an expansion. But all said, they were just under the impression that it was an expansion until much later on in development. And what's even more concerning is that this year's game was actually planned to be Treyarch's next game, of course, the sequel to Cold War, but that was pushed back and delayed till 2024. So in meantime, they pushed Sledgehammer onto this little project, and they had only 16 months to develop the game. And this comes off just only having a little amount of time to develop Vanguard as well. So they were on a time crunch once again for this Modern Warfare 3, with many devs having to work nights and weekends just to try to get this game done on time. In fact, after Vanguard, Sledgehammer was actually promised that they wouldn't have to time crunch like they did originally for Vanguard, but yet some time later, here we are and there's MW3 time crunched and rushed. Not to mention it was originally meant to be a DLC. So this explains why the campaign is the way it is. It's kind of just the worst Call of Duty campaign of all time. I mean, previously Vanguard held that title, but now MW3 has come and sort of taken that crown. But if it was just a DLC, it would make sense of why it's so shorter and why it's so bad. And it's kind of just an incomplete story. So this also means all the MW3 content we're seeing now was originally meant to be, you know, content added to MW 2022. So we can see why Zombies is so much like DMZ and kind of just hurried to kind of get that going. And the campaign is a total mess. Now, miraculously, Sledgehammer managed to get the multiplayer going at least. Fans are appreciating the multiplayer and liking it, but really they didn't have much work to do there. They just took, literally took Modern Warfare 2022, tweak a couple things, change a couple things, and add a few new weapons and some map remasters. Ironically, while the multiplayer is actually pretty good, it's all entirely undermined by their skill-based matchmaking, so it's not enjoyable and it's not fun at all. But what's generally concerning is that with all this in mind, this game should have been a disaster, absolutely time-crunched, rushed out the door, a lot of different studios having to sink their claws into it to work on different parts of the game, Sledgehammer having to run everything they do under Infinity Ward to make sure that it was good for the quote-unquote Modern Warfare brand, basically, in the multiplayer. Despite all this trouble and malpractice, Modern Warfare 3 tops charts across various platforms despite poor critical and fan reception. It's just one headline that I think kind of sums it all up. So this basically proves to Activision they can throw anything together in a very short amount of time for game development and just toss it out there and people are going to eat it up and it's going to be the number one selling game. And the shills will go on and absolutely praise it like it's the best thing ever. So this is just the sad reality that we currently live in. Call of Duty essentially holds a monopoly on this specific FPS genre and it's really sad to see. And all that is why Modern Warfare 3 2023 is a perfect disaster. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.